Right, thank you for joining us today in the Analytical Resources Core Materials and Molecular Analysis Center Magnet Safety Training. This is Alyssa. I'm going to be teaching her about magnet safety today. And the first thing to be aware of is that NMRs have strong magnetic fields surrounding them. Uh, magnets can be unshielded, meaning that the magnetic field extends beyond the door. In this case, you can see the five gauss line that goes around the instrument. And um, in order to enter and approach the magnet, you need to have magnet safety training to be within that magnetic field. Some other NMRs are what's called shielded, and that means the magnetic field is kept enclosed within the footprint of the magnet. And even though there isn't a magnetic field that extends beyond the magnet, you still need magnet safety training in order to operate those instruments. All right, so we're going to approach magnet safety training from two points of view. One is to keep the magnet safe, and one is to keep your body safe. In regard to keeping the magnet safe, um, you want to make sure that if you're going to enter this magnetic field or approach even a shielded magnet, you don't want to be carrying anything metal in your hands, a screwdriver or a wrench or anything that might be attracted to the side of the magnet. And if you come in to run an NMR sample and discover that there is something stuck to the side of the magnet, make sure you don't try to remove it and contact one of the MMA staff to help you solve the problem. So that's how we keep the magnet safe. Really what is most important is keeping your body safe. And um, in order to do that, you wanna make sure that um, you don't have any metal implants. So when you do magnet safety training, you need to ask yourself the question, do I have any metal in my body that could be magnetic? So do you have any metal implants? Do you have a pacemaker? Okay, do you have anything on your body, jewelry, watch, or on your clothing that could be magnetic? Great. So this will keep your watch safe by putting it on the table. So now that we have um, checked that we don't have anything magnetic on our body, we can enter the magnetic field. Also remember um, your phone, your wallet, uh, your keys, uh, in addition to your watch are things that should be left on the console table before you enter the magnetic field. The last part of keeping yourself safe is probably the most important part, and rarely something called a quench can happen with the NMR instrument. And in the case of a quench, uh, the temperature inside the magnet will go above a critical point that will cause all of the cryogens, the helium, liquid helium that's inside the door to evaporate in a really rapid fashion. And that will look like there'll be a vapor shooting kind of violently out the top of the door and it'll form a condensed cloud of vapor that will rapidly spread and then start to descend. And in the process of doing that, it's gonna displace all of the air in the laboratory. So, what's important for you <laughs> is that if you stay in the laboratory when a quench is happening, you will suffocate and die. You don't want that to happen. Uh, so if you see a quench, uh, meaning vapor spewing violently out of the top of the magnet and nobody's standing next to it with a liquid nitrogen tank filling the door, um, you want to leave the lab immediately. Get low to the ground, let the people around you know that you think the magnet is quenching and they need to exit the laboratory in order to stay safe. Got it? All right. So now that we know how uh, to keep ourselves safe and keep the magnet safe, we're ready to do some NMR.